Hi everybody, it's me Tom. Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works this Friday. I am Tom and I'm your Friday vlogger. And I decided, since I was doing the video anyway, I would come down here and start my exercise in the progress. Because um, I can do this and this at the same time. But anyway, this week's topic is about the scale. And it's a very good, interesting topic. Okay, it's personable, personable, listen to me. Personal accountability, weighing in. Do you weigh yourself regularly? How often? Do you feel this habit keeps your weight in check? What other ways do you use to weigh yourself? Okay, when I started my journey, it's not going to stay there. When I started my weight loss surgery journey, I was a complete daily wearer. I weighed myself for approximately the whole first two years every day, once a day, only in the morning. And I did find that um, weighing myself every day kept me in check. Especially when I got to my two-year mark, my two-year surge anniversary, and my weight started to creep up a little bit. And um, actually, it started like a, a year and a half out because my lowest weight was my one-year surge anniversary. Then my weight started to gradually creep up, and I got up to 175 from 165. I um, took an account of what I was eating as I weighed myself every day and I saw the scale go up, I saw the scale go down, I saw the scale go up. And it made me understand body weight, water weight, exercise weight. What I mean by exercise weight is if I exercised I burned off the water weight so the scale would be less. And I only know this because if I drank something and weighed myself an hour later, the scale would have a different weight on it than what I previously weighed in at. That is the main reason I only weighed once a day, first thing in the morning. Um, after my two year surge anniversary, I saw the scale be stable around 175 to 180. I'm not going to get into the total statistics of my weight, but I was maintaining 175 to 180. And um, every day, getting on the scale wasn't happening anymore. And I realized I was living my life without the scale. that is. Anyway, core outside. Um, I realized I started living my life without the scale. And um, But how do I become accountable for my weight if I'm not watching it on the scale? Well, in the beginning, like two years ago, I would weigh myself whenever I could. And if I saw the weight was higher than it should be, or that I didn't like. I would cut back on eating junk food and such, and I would try to exercise a little bit. Walking more in my case. And then when I seen the weight come back to where I wanted it, I would stop worrying about scale again. Um, what are we looking at? Nine months ago now, I think, I had my gallbladder surgery out. And I gained five pounds. Yeah, it is a gain. I don't call it, I don't consider it a regain, but it was a gain of five pounds. After my surgery, it hurt to exercise. It literally hurt to bend over. I still have issues. If I move the wrong way, it feels like my stomach is gonna rip open. Yeah, it's bad. And um, every day I would get on the scale and I would see 179, 180, 178, 
180, 181, 179. The weight was stuck at 179, 180. After weeks on end of being frustrated, being completely out of it because not only am I pissed that I'm scarred up for life with the scarring that's done on my stomach, I had an open procedure, I gained weight and um, I didn't like it. But I didn't worry about my weight because I still fit in my size 32 pair of jeans and my medium size shirts. And I still feel really good about myself. And um, it got to the point where I would realize you haven't been on the scale for a while. What are you? Let's go weigh in. And I get on the scale and it would be 180 again. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I have not been on the scale for about a month now. I'm still wearing the same size clothing. When my 32s start to feel a little snug, I mean really snug, not a little, really snug, that's telling me that I've gained some weight, whether it be water weight or physical weight weight, fat weight, you know? And I would cut back on eating junk food and I would start walking a lot more before I got my exercise equipment because I wanted to get back in check and I didn't want to get on the scale and see it go past 180. So I didn't, so I haven't been on the scale. Um, so how do I weigh myself without a scale? I just told you through my clothes. Um, I got about two inches hanging off the gut. Yeah, I got it. Um, I'm hoping that I will maintain my exercise routine. I can go faster on this. I'm just doing this for talking sake, but I'm hoping that my um, exercising routine with my three machines here will incorporate my muscle mass within my body to make me stronger to burn off more fat cells because I have not exercised in almost nine months now. So this is like brand new to me all over again. And March 23rd of this year, I have my five, my third, I'm sorry, my third 5K run coming up. And I have to get back in shape to finish that run. So I don't force myself on my equipment down here. I'm taking things nice and slow and steady and working myself into it. Because I found in the beginning when I started to exercise, I would forcefully try to exercise as much as I could and I would burn out too quick. And I learned take things slow and steady and I could do more of it. And it increases my metabolism and helps me burn off more weight. And of course, in the process, I have to eat properly and watch the carbs that I intake and maintain focus and ability to eat protein as much as I can. I don't calculate calories, proteins, or anything like that. I do. I just eat. I've said this in previous videos. So this topic for the scale was a good one because I was a complete scale whore every day, faithfully, and could not live without it. I was afraid not to get on that scale every day because I was afraid the scale number would go up and I would be a failure. But in essence, what I've learned, my scale has gone up, but I am not a failure. 
I have been maintaining a weight. I have been focused in the right direction on eating properly. And my scale will sit there until I'm ready to get back on it. And that'll probably be when my pants no longer fit me, to be honest with you. Because I want to go on living with my life right now. March 30th, coming up, is my third year surge anniversary. And um, I'm good where I am right now. So this is my topic on the scale for this week's Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. I hope I've helped somebody out there, but in the long run, keep in mind, it's your journey, it's your story, you're the one that has to make it happen. You're the one that calls the shots. Nobody can tell you what to do unless you want to do it. All right, with that being said, I'm Tom. I will see you next Friday. Bye for now.